This week's Missing Persons Cold Case is on Walter Collins. Walter Collins disappeared from Los Angeles, California on March 10th, 1928. But as always, let's go back in time and see what was happening in 1928. Calvin Coolidge was our 30th president. I Want to Be Loved by You by Helen Kane hit the charts in 1928. I be and while chewing gum was already around, it wasn't until March 1st, 1928 that bubble gum was invented. It was called, and still is to this day, Double Bubble. And the first all-talking feature, Lights of New York, premiered in 1928. Now, folks, we're going to have the Dancing Pirate. And believe me, boys, take it from me, they'll take it from you. And speaking of movies, on March 10, 1928, Walter Collins was given a dime by his mother, Christine, to go see a movie and was never seen again. Walter Collins was born to Walter and Christine Collins in September of 1918. He lived in the Lincoln Heights area of Los Angeles, California with his mother, Christine. His father was in Folsom Prison. On March 10, 1928, Walter, who was nine years old, asked his mother, Christine, if he could go see a movie. Christine handed him a dime and he left. Christine didn't know at the time, but this would be the last time she would ever see her son, Walter. When Walter didn't return home, Christine reported him missing to the LAPD who quickly started to search for Walter. However, they found nothing. Then, five months later, a boy claiming to be Walter was found in Illinois. Christine was so happy only to have her heart crushed once again when she was shown a picture of the boy and it wasn't her son. The police talked Christine into meeting the boy claiming to be Walter and trying him out. After three weeks, Christine marched back to the police station with Walter's dental records and a list of signed statements from people who had known her son. She insisted that the boy from Illinois was an imposter and that she wanted nothing more to do with him and that her son was still missing. To save face, police called Christine a lunatic and said she was just trying to ignore her responsibilities as a mother. The police forced the grieving mother into a psychiatric facility using a Code 12, a policy that allowed them to simply get rid of difficult citizens. However, while Christine was in the facility, the boy admitted he was in fact an imposter. His true name was Arthur Hutchins, a.k.a. Billy Fields. He was 12 years old and had decided to impersonate Walter after someone mentioned that he resembled the missing boy. He wanted to go to Hollywood in hopes of meeting his cowboy idol, Tom Mix, so he went along with his made-up story for as long as possible. So this raised the question again, where was nine-year-old Walter Collins? Meanwhile, about 50 miles away, another discovery was made on a ranch. A man named Gordon Northcott had been kidnapping and taking the lives of young boys. Police shifted from the Illinois boy, being Walter, to being convinced Walter was a victim of Gordon's. Gordon originally confessed to taking the lives of five boys, including Walter's, with the help of his mother, Sarah. However, when it came time to sign an official confession, Gordon changed his story, saying he only took the life of one boy. His mother, Sarah, confessed she took Walter's life. Gordon was convicted of murder and sentenced to death by hanging. Sarah was convicted of Walter's death. However, there was never any evidence to link Walter to the ranch. Does this case sound familiar to you? If you've seen the movie Changeling with Angelina Jolie, this was based on the disappearance of Walter Collins and the Wineville chicken coop murders. There's a lot more details to Walter's case, but I just wanted to cover the basics. What do you think happened to Walter? The fact is no one really knows as his body was never found. And his mother, Christine Collins, spent the rest of her life looking for her son, Walter. She passed away in 1964. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you check out the description below, as I have sources linked that can tell you more about this case. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. Also, follow and or subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Make sure to check out our shorts and reels as we post daily. And if you have a cold case that you want covered, be sure to let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.